Streamers, have you felt like your standard or mini stream decks just didn't quite have enough buttons and you needed, say, 32 programmable buttons that integrate with Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, OBS, XSplit, Streamlabs, and a whole load more? Well, Elgato, now owned by Corsair, thought you do, or maybe they just watched uh, Taran from Linus Tech Tips videos and decided everyone needed one, but anyway, this is the Stream Deck XL. You heard me right, this has 32 programmable buttons. Now, if you're new to the idea of a Stream Deck, first of all, where have you been? And second, let me run you down the basics. A Stream Deck is essentially just a collection of LCD buttons, or buttons that have little screens behind them, and you can assign them to do a whole load of stuff. Some examples of that are integration with OBS, Streamlabs, and XSplit, so you can change scenes, you can start or stop streaming or recording, and a whole load of other stuff, including, you know, stuff like Streamlabs for skipping notifications or alerts and all that sort of stuff as well, and you've also got platform integration with YouTube for sending chat messages or seeing your live viewer accounts, and Twitch and Mixer for a whole load of other stuff, including playing ads, managing your chat options, and other stuff too. You also now have have Twitter integration, which is pretty sweet, it lets you send pre-written tweets with a single button press. The idea here is that you're, you know, you maybe you just start streaming and you want to send a tweet saying, hey, the stream's live, come check me out. That is all possible. You also have a lot of standard Elgato stuff, so if you're using their capture cards, then that's all integrated really well. They also have an instant flashback feature kind of thing, which is similar to um, the instant replays that GeForce Experience gives you. And you also have uh, a new thing called multi actions which essentially is just a single button press lets you execute a list of actions so say you start streaming and you want to obviously well press start streaming in OBS for example switch to your stream starting soon scene maybe send a tweet out to say hey my stream is starting and send uh, a chat message on Twitch to your chat to say hey the stream starting soon all of that is done with a single button press so all of that sounds pretty sweet but what about the actual XL aspect well as I said this has 32 Two buttons which I actually had a pretty hard time filling. Now you can do quite a lot of other stuff like launching programs and media controls which I did end up filling a fair number of these with since I don't tend to stream all that much but even though I do have OBS and Streamlabs OBS installed um, I do have a few different scenes and starting and stopping recording all done here so that is pretty cool. Now on the physical hardware side of things the Stream Deck XL is pretty big. It's certainly going to take up a fair amount of space on your desk uh, although you can actually remove Move the rear half of the stand so that it sits a little bit more flush on your desk if you prefer or you can leave it in its more upright position but with a lot of a sort of bigger bulkier stand. Uh, you do actually now have a removable type C cable in the back as well which is great to see too. But now we have to talk about the one downside that this has and that is its price. It's $250. This is obviously aimed at professional streamers for which that would be a fairly reasonable business expense because it does make your life a good bit easier when you're streaming. Uh, it gives you a lot of different options and can generally make your stream a little bit better and so very easy to write off or as I mentioned at the start, if you're tired from Linus Tech Tips and you just need a whole load of programmable buttons, then again, this could be a reasonable expense. But for the average consumer, which I appreciate this isn't necessarily aimed at, it seems a bit too much. With that said though, the usual question of what I put this on my desk, I have to say yes. It's a very, very useful bit of kit. They now have an SDK so that you can create your own apps for this and have better integration with whatever you want to use. And of course, they're still adding a load of extra stuff and a load of better integration with not only all of the platforms, but stuff like being able to tweet and obviously those multi-actions are also great too. So a lot of support and generally pretty awesome. Now with that said, I'm not a pro streamer. I'm more on the YouTube side. So if you are a pro streamer, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below about this, especially if you already have a Stream Deck and you're considering upgrading to this. Would the extra buttons that this provides actually be useful to you? Is it something that you're just looking at because it's a little bit more flexible or do you not have any of the Stream Deck products and you're just not interested in general? All of that I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Of course, as always, if you want to pick up one of these or just check out pricing when and where you watch this because it does vary and if you're not watching 
this when the video launches, then the price could be quite different. So feel free to take a look at the link in the description down below. There's also a load of other links down there too from Amazon Overclocked UK affiliate links to uh, which don't cost you anything to use by the way, which is sweet, but massively help me out to a Patreon or a merch if you want to pick up hoodies or t-shirts, not like this one, or a load of other uh, stuff down there too, like private internet access and Humble Bundle as well. There's also a load of other videos over here, and if you want to see uh, notifications for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with live streams on Thursday nights, make sure you take a look at that subscribe button and the bell notification icon too. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.